I'm happy to take a, a, a call on these clauses, and I too have some suggestions for alternative names for this piece of legislation. Mm. This piece of legislation that the Labour Party will be uh, supporting, but of course this piece of legislation is, is part of a much bigger picture around interest-free student loans. And, and I could call it the, the student loan scheme. I'm glad that the first piece of legislation we've had come to the House isn't very bad, but I worry about the next one's amendment bill, because we know, as my colleague Marianne Street has said, that interest-free student loans are in trouble. And we know that the, the mm. National Party don't like interest-free student loans because they rallied vociferously against them when Labor introduced them. We were told it was corrupt. In fact, John Key said they were corrupt, irresponsible. irresponsible. They were a bribe, says the man who I bet never had a student loan. And that brings me to my second suggestion uh, for a title, which would be the student loan scheme. Why don't you actually ask students who have a loan about what it's like to have a student loan amendment bill? Because one of the things that concerns me is even in this debate, we've been lectured at length by people from the government who've never had a student loan. I've had a student loan. I had it at the worst time to have a student loan in the 1990s. I had it when I was paying interest while I was studying. It was daily compounding interest. I was working 20 hours a week. And I say to the government members, if you're concerned about people who are failing their courses, look at how many hours students are having to work to support themselves, which should be hours that they're studying to support their studies. But they're working long hours to support themselves. I work 20 hours a week. Well, I was at university, and it was to the detriment of my studies. I didn't fail, but I could have done an awful lot better if I'd been able to solely focus on my studies and not have to worry about where the rent was going to be paid or how we were going to be able to afford to pay the power bill that week, uh, Mr Chair. So I suggest that the why don't you ask students about issues facing students amendment bill might be a good way to go because we've had some pretty patronising speeches pretty patronising about how you know, I should just be grateful that I had a student loan. You know, I should really be grateful. Well, I wasn't grateful for it. I was grateful I got to go to university. I was grateful I got to go to university. But I wasn't grateful for the fact that I worked 20 hours a week to keep my loan down. I was at university for four years and I left university with a loan of about 15 or 16,000, which by the time I'd graduated was already into the 20,000s and I hadn't even started working yet. So I wasn't grateful for that aspect of the student loan scheme. And I, I notice all the people chipping away who had free university education over here. And I, and I say to them again, why don't you actually talk to people who went through the scheme? Because if you don't understand the incentives around repayment, then how can you put that into place in the policy? If you don't understand what it's like to have a student loan, what it's like to think that you're never going to pay it off, Minister to Hugh Hugh, that you're never going to pay it off because when you graduate, the 10% the that comes out of your income automatically is actually less than the interest for that period. So you're repaying your loan and it's going up and up and up and up. So you think, well, I'm never going to be able to repay it. Then if you haven't had that experience, then maybe you should talk to people who have. Talk to people who have. And they will tell you what you need to do to be, well, Paula Bennett, Paula Bennett who had the training incentive allowance to help her get off the DPB and then cut it for every other DPB mother who wanted to get off it, should probably, probably, well, and how did you get to university, Minister? How did you get to university to have a student loan, Minister? The tertiary incentive training allowance, which you cut to every other DPB mother who wants to get off the DPB. Sorry, Mr Chair, you didn't cut it. Minister Paula Bennett cut it. She pulled the ladder up behind her, pulled the ladder up behind her after that scheme helped her get off the DPB and good on her for doing that. But I think it's morally repugnant when the scheme that that minister benefited from was cut so that no other DPB mother, mother can climb that same ladder. They climb that same ladder. But I come back to the bill, Mr, Mr. Chair. Because I would also like to suggest that we could call this the Save Our Student Loan Scheme, Save Our Interest-Free Student Loan Scheme Amendment Bill. Because this, this, this Interest-Free Student Loan Scheme is at risk. I mean, you can see, Mr Chair, from the reaction across the other side of the House how much they don't like having to listen to us explain about the value of the interest-free student loan. And I'm proud about Labor's record in this area. I'm proud that the first thing we did when we became government was to remove the interest while you're studying. Remove it while you're studying. 
because it is horribly unfair. Mr Chair, Mr Chair, Mr Chair. Uh, Lynn Pillay. Thank you very much, Mr Chair. Mr Chair, 